He feared and he thanked. There are three elements that I want to share with you real quick that is involved in defeat. That how the devil can use these three little elements to defeat you. One is C. Two is fear. Three is doubt. C, fear, doubt. C plus fear plus doubt equal defeat. In other words, Peter saw, he focused his attention, rather his attention on the situation rather than the solution. Whenever you and I begin to concentrate on our own circumstances, rather than the word of God, what happens is that we build an inner image of a problem in our minds than the solution. In other words, when you begin to focus more on your problem, day after day you lay in the bed and you see, all you see and focus on is your sickness. All you focus on is the cancer. All you focus on is the children that go astray. All you focus on is how you're going to get this money to pay your electric bill and pay your water bill. Guess what? You create a picture in your mind, praise God, and all you see is nothing but the situation and you can't even see the solution. But when you focus on Jesus, you have to understand, church, that what you see on the inside of you will determine your attitude. If all you envision is your negative circumstance, you will doubt God's word. And Satan will begin to take advantage of you and stop your faith process. So you have to be careful on what you're focusing on. He saw, and then the Bible said that he feared. You cannot function in both faith and fear. We must understand that God has not given unto us the spirit of fear, but of peace and of a sound mind. Yes, yes. So when the storm rises up, hallelujah, don't focus on the storms of life. Uh-huh. Don't begin to fear, praise God, but understand that you have the spirit of peace yes. and of a sound mind. Uh-huh. And then the third thing is the way the devil can defeat us is through by doubt. Uh You have to understand that doubt operates in the mental realm. God's word operates in the spiritual realm. (laughs) Doubt always attacks the physical mind. But I want you to understand that God's word works on the spirit man. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, when you know that you've been born again of the spirit of God, hallelujah, I want you to understand that the spirit always speaks to spirit, hallelujah. That's why David said a deep call unto the deep, hallelujah. I'm deep, but God is deeper, hallelujah. And I'm down here in this world, but praying God, when I call to God, I don't have to doubt. Peter's battle now, it became a natural battle. Because he saw the wind and, and he feared the waves and he began to doubt. And when you get into doubt, guess what? The battle is no longer a spiritual battle, but it becomes a physical battle between you and what you see. Right. Hallelujah, praise God. And the spiritual realm is still going on. You don't see what's in the spiritual realm because now you done got tied up and twisted up in the physical realm. And, and somebody done curse you out and now you want to run over and curse them out. And, and somebody said, what's wrong with you? you tell them I'm just having a bad day. But let me tell you something. When you get Jesus, don't get into doubt. Doubt can't help you out. But faith, it'll bring you out every time. Hallelujah. I don't care how big the battle is. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. We can walk into the supernatural in spite of life storm 